The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and welcome to another transfer verdict video with me, Ryan Hildred from Rovers Chat. And uh, Rovers had a nice Sunday morning surprise with the news that Dutch defender Jan-Paul van Hecker had joined the club on a season-long loan from Brighton. It is another Premier League loan and again for a player we might not have seen much about. So I'm very happy to welcome Dutch football journalist Barry onto the show. You've certainly seen more of Van Hecker, Barry. How are you doing and how is it in the Netherlands? I'm fine. The Netherlands is uh, a bit like England, a lot of rain. So uh, not a real uh, good summer, but uh, uh, we're fine. So. It's been a very disappointing summer, hasn't it? This yeah. white cloud that we just seem to have all the time is getting boring now, so yeah. uh, we need a break in that. Um, so just a short summary on Van Hecker before we get Barry's views. Um, so Jan-Paul Van Hecker made his debut for NAC Breda in the Dutch second tier in the 1920 season. He went on to make 11 league appearances and score three goals for Breda before that loan move to Brighton last September. He was immediately loaned back to Heerenveen in the Dutch Eredivisie last season and he made 28 appearances, scoring one goal as Heerenveen came 12th. He's back at Brighton now, 21 years old. He obviously continues his progression into the Championship with Rovers and I'm sure Brighton are looking forward to seeing how he does in the Championship up close. So, Barry, first and foremost... Um, we're really hoping that you're just going to be able to tell us what type of player Van Hecker is because I've seen descriptions such as no nonsense and comfortable on the ball. So what sort of centre-back is he and, and who does he compare to? Who compare? Um, well, uh, I compared him to um, some Brighton defenders because he was uh, getting over there this summer. And then well, um, if you look at someone like Duffy... Um, there's a, a difference in uh, body because he's only 21 years old. Uh, I think he's working on his uh, his body, but he's uh, he's a rather tall guy, um, comfortable on the ball, uh, very good uh, passing into the midfield uh, or the forwards, um, and he's a winner. Um, that's uh, the reason he became uh, a professional footballer, I think because um, he played in our region, in um, Zeeland, it's called, um, at a yeah, local, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, yeah, football, um, I don't know the, the exact, uh, academy, football academy. Yeah. And then, um, well, no, there weren't a lot of people that were thinking that uh, at 17 he was going to be professional, but then, um, his old coach played for Nag Breda. He knew the coach of their under 19. They got in contact. He asked them, do you know some players um, from Zeeland we can use? And that's uh, how they got that jump ball and uh, a couple of other guys. And then uh, he went to Nag and in the under 19, they did really, really uh, well. Uh, they got into the... Uh, final stages with uh, the under 19s of Ajax, Feyenoord, PSV. Well, that wasn't uh, something that Nak Breda did every year. So he played very well. Uh, he got a contract, went to the first team, but then uh, it looked like his uh, progression was uh, stopped a little bit because uh, they had a rather old coach that um, yeah, wanted to play with. Um, um, how do you say, more experienced players. And um, yeah, in August, uh, I was in the stadium. He made his debut as a substitute. Uh, but after that game, it, yeah, it, it lasted really long before uh, he got minutes again. But when that happened, he never left the team again. And then uh, they got to the semi-final against Feyenoord. Well, they lost it 7-1. There was a uh, yeah, uh, big disappointment, but he played well in that game. He scored the only goal, 
Um, and uh, at that moment, it was March, uh, Corona was coming. Um, it was clear that he was going to uh, leave Nac Preda just after 11 games, you, you, you said. Um, so that then, uh, yeah, Brighton came. And um, also uh, Monaco wanted to have him, but they wanted to uh, uh, put him at Cercle Brugge. And he didn't want that because um, well, he, he's a guy that wants to decide or uh, at least uh, uh, talk to other uh, people before they make a decision. And this was like, yeah, you go to Monaco and then you go to Cercle Brugge. And he didn't want that. So he went to Brighton and um, it was a, a yeah, not his dream club. I don't think he had a, a Brighton, uh, Brighton pajamas uh, when he was young, but... It was England, and and yeah, his family they they love uh, English football. Brilliant and good that you know there's other clubs who were in for him before he obviously did go to Brighton. So clearly other teams taking an interest in him. If you had to yeah. describe what his best qualities and strengths are, you know what is he going to bring to the Rovers side? Um, yeah, his best qualities is what I said. He's a winner. Um, absolutely wants to win every game. Um, and um, he loves football. Um, he loves playing football in a big stadium, um, like the semi-final was in the Kuip Feyenoord, uh, full house. Well, he yeah, yeah, he enjoys that a lot. His his family. I don't know if if you uh, know who his uncle is. His uh, his uncle is Jan Portfleet. He was uh, a coach of Southampton to uh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Okay, um, and uh, he played the uh, World Cup final 1978 with uh, with Holland, and he's the brother of uh, Jan Pauls, his mother. So, but he's uh, he has three brothers. Two are older, uh, Jan Paul, and one is uh, younger, and they all uh, play football. Um, one on the highest amateur level, one uh, one brother plays one level lower. But uh, they all love football and they love to go to England because um, last year I was at Brentford Blackburn Rovers 2-2 two -two, um, yeah. with, with my friends. Um, two goals of uh, the striker that went to uh, uh, Southampton. Yeah, Adam Armstrong. Armstrong, yeah, two goals of him, and um, uh, Jan Paul's brother was also at that game with uh, with a lot of uh, guys from their uh, amateur team, uh, Arnhemuide. That's the place they come from. So um, yeah, I spoke to him there and um, uh, to his brother, and yeah, they, they love English football. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, when he got the opportunity to go to England, yeah, he, I, he didn't have to think uh, really long, and. Um, uh, uh, comparing him to other players is is difficult, I guess, because he's still at the beginning of his career. He's he's 21, and uh, he started this uh, this summer at Brighton for the first time because they 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 bought him, but he never went to Brighton until this summer because of Corona and because he was uh, with the loan spell at Heerenveen. So he went to Brighton this summer for the first time, and he did well. Um, uh, of course, it was another level. Of course, he needed some time, but he did well until he got injured, and that cost him a couple of weeks, and that will still cost him a couple of weeks to be fully fit. So I don't think he will be able to play on the 11th of September against Luton Town, but maybe the week, a week later or uh, at the end of September, but he's... Uh, he will be ready. Excellent. Well, it sounds like he's someone who's obviously confident in his own ability and, and as you yeah. say, a winner. So we look forward to him coming into our side and, and hopefully, you know, the other youngsters around him who we might be able to just get that type of reaction out of as well. Um, now, Barry, there are some stories and things that I've just seen about Van Hecker that suggest he can play as a right back as well. So has he done that in Dutch football and can he play at right back? Yeah, he had never done that in Dutch football. He was always a central defender, uh, right-footed, uh, but he can also play on the left of, of central defense. Um, he did that when he was 17. He played on high amateur level, uh, and that was uh, and there he showed that um, 
yeah, it was very good and uh, he played against guys that were like 30 35 and yeah uh, against really good strikers and yeah he did he did he did great but in Heerenveen um uh, they had like uh, three central defenders and at one time the right back was injured or or it wasn't playing very well and then the coach tried him at right back and well he told me at that time well I never played there. Uh, my brother plays there, but uh, not me. But he did okay. Uh, but I think uh, he hope. Uh, I think he hopes he will play in central defence. Excellent. And just sticking with the the position, Rovers this season, we've sometimes played with wing backs and three central defenders. So, do you think that Van Hecker would be comfortable in that type of forma uh, formation if he was, you know, part of a centre back three? Yeah, one of the one of the three uh, is, is no problem, I think. And um, if one of the three um, uh, can, uh, how do you say, go into midfield, if 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 the coach allows that, um, he can do that. Uh, he can also do that very well. So no problem out with the ball and things. That's that sounds yeah. good. Yeah, excellent. Um, now, Barry, when I was researching about Van Hecker, I did come across a story um, that suggested he actually lost his place in the here and vain side last January. So what happened there and, and how did he respond to that? Um, it was for a couple of games because they played like 34 games and he played 28, but it was a short period. And well, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to don't forget that he's only he was 20 at the time. So. It was his first uh, year in, uh, uh, how do you say it, the top tier in Holland. So, yeah, I, I think he had a small injury, then came back, but the team was okay. Had to take, uh, had to, uh, yeah, had to wait for a couple of weeks, but then he started playing again, so. Excellent. And um, just a final couple of questions then, Barry. Um, obviously, all players need to, you know, continue learning, continue improving. So what would you say are the attributes that Van Hecker needs to work on or develop, um, you know, as, as a defender? Um, well, I, I'm really curious. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really curious uh, how he's going to do in the English Championship because... Uh, it's going to be his first time in, in English football, and that's totally different uh, from Dutch football. In the, in the Eredivisie, we, every team wants to uh, uh, have the ball and uh, play nice football. Uh, well, you know the Dutch, uh, uh, <laughs> how we think. Um, but um, I'm really curious how he's going to do in, in championship. Um, he will learn. Uh, can I... Uh, uh, can I play on this level, or uh, can I uh, do? I need more time. Um, uh, can I can I go back to Brighton and uh, and and be uh, a serious uh, option for the coach? Uh, yeah, we're gonna see in the in the next few months. But um, I'm sure of one thing, and that's he's gonna do everything he can uh, when he's fit to yeah to do as as good as he can because he's all, uh, i know um i had contact with uh, contact with him yesterday and like blackburn rovers um yeah he, he said it on the website but it, it is true he's from 1989 so three years after uh, you were champions of uh, of england but he knows a lot of of, of history of blackburn rovers because um well, well with his brothers with his father uh they were always uh watching match of the day and and yeah uh he knows the history of the of the club so um i think uh, for him it's it's a, a very good uh year to learn a lot but also he's proud to play for for such a club with a big history and that's good. And certainly our manager, Tony Mowbray, you know, he does like to pick characters that, you know, he knows are going to work hard. He knows are going to identify with the club. So that's reassuring that, that obviously Jan Paul has, has done his kind of homework, if you want to call it that, on Rovers yeah. and, and understands yeah. what it means. Um, just one question on something you said, Barry, um, obviously in Dutch football with people playing football all of the time. And as you say, in the championship, some teams do like to hit it long. Some teams do like to play a bit more ugly. 
if it was a Tuesday night game in England with the rain coming down where we have to roll our sleeves up and get dirty, would Van Hecker rise to that challenge and will he be heading the ball away? Will he be getting stuck in? Will he be getting the challenges in in that sense? Yeah, absolutely. And I think with a big smile on his face. Because <laughs> a, a rainy Tuesday evening, yeah, he, he likes that. Excellent. Um, and then just the final question then, Barry, you know, having seen him perform in the Eredivisie um, and obviously with this move now to the Championship, how do you think he's going to do with Rovers? Do you fancy him to do well? Um, I, I hope so. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I don't know uh, everything about Blackburn Rovers or everything about the Championship. So um I can't say if, if he's going to do well. I hope he's going to do well. And uh, as I said, I think he will do any, everything to, uh, yeah, to uh, play as best as he can for, for Blackburn Rovers. So I hope you, uh, you, uh, yeah, you enjoy it as a, as a, as a fan. And uh, uh, what I saw is that it's a very young team. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, we've had a bit of a transition. So with some of our older players, their contracts have ended and we've not renewed them. Um, we've promoted a lot of people up from our academy now and we don't have a lot of money to spend. So our squad is actually quite small. So that's kind of just led to a lower average age. You know, we've got a lot of players, 21, 22, 23, that kind of age. And obviously okay. bringing these people in on loan who are the same age as well, that obviously just reinforces that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who's the striker? Uh, so we're waiting for that one. Uh, we're waiting to see if we are going to replace Adam Armstrong. Um, there are rumours of a loan move for Michael Obafemi from Southampton. But at the moment, yeah. it's Sam Gallagher and Brereton Diaz. So they're the two who are the main okay. strikers. Okay. So there we go. We'll see how we do. Um, Barry, I just want to thank you for um, giving um, the views on Jan Paul Van Hecker. As I say, not many of us have seen him play at all. So your insight has been brilliant. I'm really interested to see that physical side that you were talking about if he is a winner if he is going to roll his sleeves up and get stuck in i think rovers fans are going to like that um because there are some championship teams that do put you under a lot of pressure and if van hecker can slot into that defense or come into a central three it sounds like mowbray has really researched van hecker and seen that he is a character that will fit into our squad so Looks like another good Premier League loan signing for Rovers. You know, we are realistic about the fact that this is all we can do in the transfer market at the moment. So hopefully we've caught Van Hecker at a really good time in his career and he can come in, play well in the championship and um, and obviously do well for Rovers. So, yeah, Barry, thank you for giving up your time uh, on this Monday morning slash afternoon. And, um, yeah, um, I'll say goodbye to you. OK, it was a pleasure. I hope to see you in Blackburn. Absolutely. Thank you. And Rovers fans, as ever, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, please look out for all of our content over the international break uh, as we uh, will keep filling you with all that content until we get to that Luton Town game on September the 11th. Until then, we will see you later. Thank you, Barry. See you later. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.